Sometimes we get leaks and information for things way down the road, and this seems to be another one of those. Now, a missing piece of AMD's upcoming roadmap was just posted by Twitter user, and I'm gonna spell this one out, at S-E-P-E-U-W-M-J-H, and this comes via video cards. Now, the roadmap reveals a missing codename that is suspected to be AMD's lineup of desktop CPUs that will be featuring Zen 4 technology and Navi 2 graphics. And the missing corner is from a roadmap that was originally posted by Mibu and has such been cleaned up and compiled by Olrak29 underscore. Now the snippet was tweeted by a Twitter user, again, S-E-P-E-U-W-M-J-H, because I don't believe you can actually pronounce that, which appears to be a generic leak account from a company insider. Now considering it matches one-to-one -one the leak by Mibu ages ago, it's likely that they're from the same source. Now for those wondering where Raphael fits, it will succeed Warhol, which is a successor of Vermeer lineup of processors. Now backing things up, Vermeer is the mainstream desktop lineup from AMD right now and does not include an iGPU, which has been a major source of pushback when dealing with corporate clients, which absolutely require iGPUs. Those guys aren't running graphics cards to run office computers, whatever. Similarly, Warhol is also without an iGPU, and Raphael, on the other hand, shakes things up completely and adds an RDNA 2 block as its integrated graphics. Now, the platform will also completely update the socket design and will go from AM4 to AM5 with Raphael. The process is also going to shift to 5 nanometers from 6 nanometers, which is just a revision of the current 7 nanometer. At the same time, PCIe 5.0 is going to be introduced on the platform along with the shift to DDR5. In other words, this is going to be one of the biggest changes to AMD's desktop platform in a very long time. Now, if the roadmap is to be believed, it will start shipping in early 2022 range, so we should see an announcement at CES next year, assuming that there are no delays, which, I mean, at this point, who knows. At the same time, Cezanne, the APU platform, is going to be succeeded by Rembrandt, which is to be succeeded by Phoenix, and just like Raphael, Phoenix is going to be a mobility APU platform to look out for. It will also feature Zen 4, Navi 2 graphics, AM5, PCIe 5.0, and DDR5 memory. And considering the prevailing demand and supply situation for the semiconductor industry, however, and seeing how choked TSMC is, it's possible that this roadmap slips a little, so we would urge a pinch of salt and await for further confirmation before making plans. That said, it is clear that AMD is preparing an absolute monster lineup for 2022. Hey guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen, make sure you hit the subscribe button down here in this corner and check out a video that you may have missed in our lineup. And we'll catch you in the next one.